Hi there, English 2 students. Just jumping on here real fast, record this video talking about the media literacy prompt that I'm wanting you to do. I'm going to kind of walk you through how to possibly construct it, how to actually write it. Uh, basically, consider this the media literacy prompt explained. So let me go ahead and share this with you. So of course, this is what we're, I'm asking you to do. The learning targets we're focusing on is how do you, uh, be, how the media constructs content and how to become a better media consumer. So those were kind of like the two overall goals that I was shooting for uh, through your interacting with these particular sources that we interacted with this week. So this week we'll be, we've interacted with a variety of pieces that discuss the media. Now it's at the end of the week and you are to either write an essay. Uh, write an essay is a little bit far-fetched. I'm not wanting you to do a traditional essay. It's more of a written response more than anything. Uh, record a podcast or create a video synthesizing your learning from this week. So basically you're taking all the learning that you've done from the five sources and combining them together, synthesizing them together into what you're going to present to me. This essay slash podcast slash video is not a summary, but rather a detailed examination of the contributions these pieces made towards your learning and understanding of the media. Essentially, what did you learn this week? Now, I drew this on the board and I went over it with some of the face-to-face -face kids and it seemed to help them out. So basically, when it comes to actually writing or constructing this particular project, this is kind of what I'm wanting you to do. So the first thing you're going to start off with is your overall learning. So what did you learn overall? So what was your biggest takeaway from the thing from this unit that we've done this week? So what was the main thing that you learned this week? Then I want you to spend the rest of it and your response will be contain how each of the things we talked about this week, how they helped you get that understanding, how they helped you get that learning. So how did this video um, will make you angry? How did that contribute to your overall learning? How did the fake news podcast help contribute to your overall learning? How did the seven things that the journalism taught me contribute to your overall learning, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So basically, how did these five things contribute to what you learned? So how did they fit into the puzzle? How did they add to what you learned? Uh, I, the, the main thing I'm looking for whenever I'm grading this, because this is a 25 point grade, not a 100 point grade. And I did that because I'm giving a little bit more freedom with how you interact with this and how you express this is I want to make sure that you at least address each of the five sources. So as long as you talk about these five things and how they contributed to your overall learning, then you should be good. Some people were asking for word count. I'm not necessarily super looking for a word count on average. I'd say about 400-ish words is what these traditionally, these type, this type of media, this, this, this purpose of writing tend, or this genre of writing tends to go towards is about 400 words. So around that area should be good. But basically, once again, all you need to do is start off. This is what I learned. Here's how this helped me learn this. This is 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 how this helped me learn this. So basically you're taking all this and kind of mixing it together into the thing that you learned about the media this week. All right. So hopefully that helped you clear up some misconceptions when it came to how to uh, create this prompt or how to uh, respond to this prompt. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me pdavidson at portugal.k12.mo.us and I will see you later. Bye-bye.